G'day everyone! In my last video you saw the platform bed that I built for my dog Pepper at the front of the bus. Um, she absolutely loves it which is hilarious because before I built that bed she only showed a kind of mild interest and curiosity about the bus and didn't really want to spend a lot of time in here. As soon as I built this bed she, all of a sudden she just wants to be in the bus and as soon as I open the bus door she's up onto a bed and it's really hard to get her off and out of the bus. Um, so it's just hilarious but anyway um so my original plan was for this to be like a kind of a day use area for her and I was going to build her an actual kind of enclosed crate area that she could travel in but there just isn't enough room anywhere in the bus Peppa's a big dog um she's a wolfhound cross she weighs 30 kilos she's quite tall and long and she needs a really big area like crate area to be able to stand up and turn around in and there just isn't anywhere in the bus that I can fit that size crate so what I've decided to do instead is actually um, change <laughs> excuse me I've decided to um, change this bed in the front a little bit I'm actually going to be raising it a little bit higher and extending it all the way back so that it actually comes over the top of the passenger seat and all the way back to the walls that I've got here at the um, front of the bus and that way she'll be a little bit further back from me and from the front from the dash and the windscreen area and I'll be able to clip her harness into the seat belt on the passenger seat here at the back so that will be a bit safer for her to travel and she'll just have to get used to being tethered um, to the seat belt so that's the plan for today I'm actually going to pull this bed out I'm not sure what Pepper's going to think about that I'm going to pull this bed out and make it a little bit bigger okay so the way I'm planning to do this is first of all I'm not going to take this piece that I've got screwed into the wall out because it was a bugger of a thing trying to get it screwed in there and it's actually screwed in really securely um, and I just I don't want to mess with it so I'm just going to build up from that I actually have to raise the height of these frames about 135 millimeters from where they are now so I'm just going to build like an extra piece on the top of that I'm going to make this frame here a little bit higher uh, I'm going to have to build a bit of a frame into the top of the engine hatch cover and then over here my plan for this area is to build a wardrobe in here and the wardrobe will come out to almost level with this wall here so on the front of this wardrobe at the right level I'm just going to put another support that will sort of stick out a little bit and this um, bed platform will be able to come out and rest on that as well so what I'm going to do is actually build the wardrobe frame first and then I'm going to build out like just put a, a floor on this step area here to make this whole area here out to these walls the same height as that little step so get rid of that little step there and make that all the one level uh, and then when that's done I will get to work on increasing the framework on this end up here I'm just making all this up as I go along I'm not really sure how this is gonna go but you know we'll see it worked okay the first time I just need to get the platform up a bit higher now and bring it further back Peppa's got her temporary bed over here now she's not too impressed but so far she's coping okay so I managed to get a bit done yesterday I didn't film a lot of it sorry firstly because it is stinking hot here at the moment in Queensland it's like 38 degree days and I only get a few hours to work in the mornings before it gets way too hot to be outside so I just wanted to crack on and get it done and not have to worry about fiddling around with the camera and also because a lot of what I'm doing is in that front cab area there just isn't really any room to get the camera in at the right angle and pretty much all you would have seen is my big butt in the way of the camera probably and not being able to see much else so <laughs> you don't need to see that but come on I'll show you what I got done okay so you can see I've put a little section of floor in here to make this whole area here uh, the same level as the step that was just behind the engine bay so I've made that all of one level uh, I've got the lower part of the wardrobe frame built um, so there'll be another section on top of this that I'll build in later but for now I just wanted to get this section done because this rail that I've got here 
that's going across the front of the wardrobe is what Peppa's platform will be sitting on. So I've got that built. And over on this side, you can see I've added a few more pieces to the piece of timber that I had originally screwed into the wall. So I've raised the height of that. And I've also added another section to the frame in the stairwell. So I've made that a bit higher as well. So I've pretty much got the supports all done on this side. And over here I've got this one. The last bit that I need to do is to build a section that's going to go on top of the engine hatch cover here. And then the ply will be able to come out and rest on top of all of that. So this is what I'm going to do today. And my plan is to build like a box basically that will screw down on top of the engine cover here. And the sides of the box will be the supports for the base of Pepper's bed. And then I'll also be able to use that box to store some things um, in the front you know, things like my Red Joe papers, insurance details, um, a drink bottle, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to build next. So when, once I've done that, then it's just a matter of cutting the sheets of ply that will make the actual platform itself. And I should be able to get Pepper's bed back in here, hopefully today. Okay, well, I can actually kind of lift this up a bit because it's pretty deteriorated. <laughs> um, that actually just all feels like metal underneath there. So there's also these big clips holding this insulation stuff down. And I've just taken one out from here. So you can kind of get under there now and see that there's other screws holding the metal piece um, to the plastic top. So I'm going to go and remove the rest of these clips so I can get this out of the way. And then I should be able to undo whatever screws are underneath there um, and get a better sense of how it's put together. So that's all it is inside, just this quite heavy plastic cover with the metal piece that goes inside. Um, so I think I'll be able to drill then and screw into this metal which will be a lot more secure. Okay so this is the box I've made for the top of the engine cover. Um, just some pieces of 19mm thick pine screwed together and a plywood base and I've just screwed it down into the top of the um, engine hatch itself so it's well and truly stuck on there so you can see where my screws are coming through I've just cut them off with the angle grinder because they're sticking out just a little bit too far um, so yeah so I've gone in through the plastic top and down into the metal casing so it should be well and truly secured on there. So now I'll just put the insulation cover back in and I can stick it back in the bus. And there it is. So I've made these side pieces here the right height so that they'll, they're level with the other supports that I've made for Pepper's platform so it will actually rest on top of that and as you can see I've tapered it down a bit in this corner and that's to give me enough room when I'm changing gears or if I need to um, you know reach across to get to the stereo or something then I've got enough room um, for my arm to get around there comfortably so yeah I'm pretty happy with that it's pretty rough um, but if this works and I'm going to keep it there then I can always come back and line this with some carpet or some vinyl or something and um, stain it or paint it and make it look pretty um, but for now I just wanted to get it in place so I can get this plywood down now and um, yeah see how it goes all right so this is the original piece of ply that I had on the bed before um, and it's just sitting up at the higher level now and I'm really happy with how it's sitting it's sitting nice and evenly over all the supports which means I've got them all level which is good bit of a fluke <laughs> uh, so now because this is up a bit higher I just need to um, recut this curve a bit here so that it fits in against this part of the dash a little bit better now because obviously it's blocking uh, the stereo and things here I'm actually going to be cutting it back on an angle kind of this way and also um, I'm going to be cutting a bit off here because 
um, I'm going to be putting another piece that's going to come across here and I want this second piece to be able to rest partially on this engine hatch as well so I'll be cutting this back this piece back sort of about here so that the next piece can butt up to that hopefully that'll make more sense when you see the two pieces uh, sitting together but yeah so I just have to cut this one down to shape and then get a second piece that will fit across this way oh man <laughs> it is so hot and I'm just dripping with sweat um, but I really wanted to get this finished today and I have <laughs> thankfully so there it is the platform now pretty much takes up the whole passenger side of the cab area comes right back to this seat um, so Peppa should be a good distance back from the dash which is a bit safer and I can clip her into the seat belt here as well which will be good um, yeah obviously this ply needs to be cleaned up a bit and probably repainted but that's a job for another day I'm going to have to get uh, another sort of cushion I think get some foam and cut it to size here because the bits of foam that I had here obviously now won't fit so at some stage I will make her a proper cushion that fits nicely over that space um, but yeah I'm pretty happy with that I can uh, use this box here for um, storing some stuff putting some stuff in while I'm driving and under here can see I've actually got quite a bit of storage under there I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm going to use that for um, that partly depends on what sort of a trailer I end up getting as to what I'll put in there but I've got a few ideas but um, yes yeah, so I'll have some things stored under there I'll be able to take these two pieces right off and out of the way when I want to access things underneath anyway um, but yeah pretty happy with that now it's time to get the boss back in and see if she approves come on Hop it up. Good girl. Up you go. Hop it up. Oh, is it too high for you? So, what do you reckon, puppy? You like it? Off! Good girl, come on! Pepper, off! Come on! You're alright, come down! Oh, I'm going to have to build a step for you. Okay, well, <laughs> looks like tomorrow's job is going to be to build her a little step so she's a bit more confident about getting up and down from there. But anyway, I'm glad I've got this job done. And now I'm going to go inside and have a nice cold shower. See you next time. Good dog. Hop, hop it up. Yes, good dog. Good girl.